curious on if you could let us know uh, what these mitigations entail, what, where, okay. what. Um, you have, can you talk about that briefly? And then I think um, there are probably uh, maps that will be um, available on the website. There are, and I believe there is a map up in the back of the current mitigation plan, which um, we received very recently, is a preservation area adjacent to the McCormick Tract. So that's, and then there is some stream restoration and some culvert replacements also proposed. Sir? Yes, how will the EPA oversee and enforce provisions? Okay, thank you very much. Good evening. How will the EPA oversee and enforce provisions of the Clean Water Act during construction and future use of this road and the probable damage done to the wetlands and aquatic life, and who will pay? Um, I think it's important to point out that if a permit is issued um, by the state, by the DEQ, it will be their permit and they will have the responsibility for ensuring that the conditions of the permit are, um, are followed. And we will certainly be um, involved in, in watching to make sure that, they're, um, that that is the case. You will have monitors on site? We haven't gotten to that point. Um, of determining exactly how that will be handled out and all. The state will have people monitoring on site. And so the state will pay for any damages done. I didn't say that. I'm asking <laughs> that. No, Sorry. the state would not pay that for That was the second part of my question. Okay. No, we will, pay for we, will, we will, like we do with any permit that we issue, we monitor compliance. And where appropriate, we take enforcement action for violations against the violator. Okay. Up front and then in the back. I just have a, a, a yeah. I just have a question about the timeline for your decision-making process. So the timeline: um, our public comment period ends September fourth, and um, our next step is to evaluate the public comments. Um, develop a response to comments and make our final decision. And until we know exactly how many comments we have, it's a little hard to, to give you a specific date. We will do that as soon as possible. Thank you, months. Um, I, I can't really get to that uh, level of detail until I know how many comments we have. Um, I hope we don't have um, several months worth of comments. So we want to hear what people have to say, but I'm hoping it doesn't take us several months. Uh, there was someone in the back, and then... Yeah, uh, I have a question about the alternative roads. Um, County Road 510-550 was not selected as an alternative road, is that correct? And only the two are held, being held up for comparison, or how does that work? Um, one of the slides that I showed described the purpose of the project, and one of the purposes of the project was to avoid um, population centers in the Marquette area. So I think we agreed with um, others who felt that uh, 550 would not achieve that purpose. So we, we, uh, we focused on you know, the three alternatives that we thought would meet the project purpose and didn't have other constraints that couldn't be um, 